Pay a visit to Perico's home in Todos Santos. If he's there, grab him and bring him in. If not, search the place for useful intel. Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Frost, and welcome back to another Ghost Recon Wildlands playthrough. Eventually I was going to play, um, I was going to stream the new Overwatch season, but I'm going to do that tomorrow when the season's actually out, because I don't know what time it comes out, and to be honest, I, I, I just kind of wanted to play more of this. Ooh. Basically, if you didn't see the last episode, we killed, no we didn't kill him, we captured the cartel chemist, Marcus Jensen, and now we're hunting down DJ Perico. If you didn't see it, I'll put a link to the playlist. Put a link to the playlist in the description. But yeah, basically today we're trying to find his house. We know his house is over there, but we need to search is what we mean. Try not to alert too many people at once. Back it up, they're gonna see you. You're gonna see me. But someone up there as well, most likely, but Okay, where's this guy? Up there. It's him. Someone over there. Probably. People behind me as well. Don't really know if I should worry about them though. There's a guy there. And people. No one there. So they're going to be inside his house then? I assume. I, yeah, I'm definitely going to assume he's not there. Like, everything about this just screams he's not going to be. As soon as there's literally other five other missions, he's definitely not going to be here. Somewhere. Oh, he's right there. And there's another one over here. Uh, there. Okay, that's him. That's just a bit clearer then. Let's just search for intel. Also, I'm not in a very good mood because I was playing Overwatch, like trying to like warm up for this. Uh, what it was going to be the stream. Okay, that's, that mission's finished. Then we already didn't we already do that though? We did that last time though, didn't we? So okay, yeah, I'll I'll talk about this before we move on to the next mission. But um, I was trying to warm up for the stream and uh, just playing some quick play, you know, just to get myself warmed up. And I was playing tank, right? And I had the most brain dead Mercy player ever. Like, they would not heal anyone but this other brain dead Genji player, right? And you all know, if you've been in the channel for a while, you all know how I feel about. Oh, never mind. You know how I feel about Genji. He's a shite Overwatch character, right? I'm, I'm just gonna say it, he is. He, he is absolute dog shit. And barely anyone can play him right. So people long. that can, I congratulate you, right? But the people that can't play him, right? And I just absolutely fucking dog shit with him. Just, just ruin it, don't they? They just ruin it for everyone. And this fucking mercy player wouldn't heal anyone else but them. So you know, that's fun, isn't it? I had to rely on a level 30 and a player to heal me as a Reinhardt because Mercy, oh no, too busy healing the Genji who's dying every fucking five seconds. But he's more important than everyone else because he got one kill on the Ana at the start of the round so he's clearly the best player there is. Okay, rant over, I'll see you at the next mission. DJ Perico's former bodyguard now works at Pilka Mine. Track him down and see what he can tell us about his old boss. Oh, 
Okay, we're here and ignore the fucked up car because, well, things happen. But we're looking for Perico's bodyguard. Well, he is. Start shooting. ID your targets, people. We know Perico's ex-bodyguard Ruiz is working at this mine, and we need him alive for questioning. But do we need him alive? Is it necessary to keep him alive? Is it? Actually, yeah, because then we'll end the mission if we don't keep him alive. So never mind. Someone else here? Just, yep. Um, okay, well, first of all, we're going to get rid of that because they're not going to deal with the helicopter. Where would this guy be? My guess is on the top floor, but who am I to know? No. So I got a target killing submachine guns. Is he in the mine maybe? I think he is. Yeah, he's in. Case. Don't mind if I do. Do this. DJ Perico's former bodyguard. Perico? Man, fuck that guy. That pinche puto shot. He shot his dog. Shot your friend. No man, he shot my dog. Perico. Paloma never did nothing to no one. Perico killed your pet. What for? Hijo de su reputa madre, Perico was trying to smoke weed out of an AR-15. Who the fuck? Right, okay. Who smokes weed out of a gun? That's a bit moronic, but hey, who am I to judge? Give me his real name. A photo, too. Man. Perico's real name is Marco Garcia. I don't have no photo. Okay, Marco Garcia. Let's kill him. Let's do it. We've got a location on Perico. Get that little fucker and make him give up his encryption key. We're going to turn Buchon Radio into Radio Free Bolivia. Yes. Okay, welcome back. It didn't record, but we are assaulting a mausoleum. We started down there, made our way up here. We're trying to locate DJ Perico, and it's taking him all the way to Sueño's mausoleum, which, for those that don't know, is the head boss of the Santa Blanca cartel. A little bit of a lesson for those that don't play the game, or just don't know, or forgot. Hmm. Okay, there's gonna be people up there, hundred percent. Got eyes on a mounted weapon. Marking yeah. Captain. Don't really wanna deal with that though. Someone in there. Got another tango. Someone there. Got a tango. Chopper incoming. Eyes on dead. Got eyes on a mounted weapon. Eyes on dead. Chopper, hit the dirt. Oh, so there's, there's a helicopter flying around right and what it, it, it surprises me because normally it's an Unidad helicopter but for some reason there's a Santa Blanca one flying around. Probably because this is like the main base. You know, so like when you was more really young. So kind of makes sense. But Them down. We're just gonna grab this. Awesome. Stoner. Alright, LMG. Don't really use them very much, but hey. We can add it to the collection, I guess.
We're getting closer. It's, it's quite a lot of stairs. We'll grab this because I don't need to come back here at some point just to do it again. So, you know, while we're here, we might as well just grab it. Okay, that's the mausoleum then. Okay. Get rid of him. That's still circling. to be here. Like, <clears throat> like I was expecting a lot more. Look at this shit. I've seen a mausoleum or two in my time. This one could eat those for breakfast and it's not even big enough. shit them out. We're supposed to think Sweeney has a dog? That's the way he sees him yeah. That's the way he sees himself. How many alarms is though? That's the alarms. Reinforcements won't be flying in. Okay, well that's all the alarms down, so we do. Do we need to capture them or do we need to find them and then talk There's to them? Remember people. Okay, we'll so it's gonna be in there then. Oh, there he is. Okay, I want to maybe clear out these guys first. What are we doing? Oh, okay. well. Cool, Fuck. Oh. Okay, no, he didn't call in. Sniper on that roof. That was lucky. Okay, we're cool. Maybe something else in there. Yeah. shoot it down once we clear this out. It's just gonna annoy me. I'm spotting another tanker. Can we get rid of you? And that's you gone. Them. I still got my whole life to live, man. Don't we all? Just give us the encryption key to the station's faster control. Alright, alright, man. Just you didn't get it for me, okay? When prompted for a username, type in B I D I Beta Bomb. Then enter the numbers generated on this token. Save for this moment, Perico. This is the day you almost died. This is the day I spared you. Yeah, we we are sparing you. See, I know you can just change this encryption key. But in exchange for not killing you, you are going to keep broadcasting and you are going to wait to change that password until my associate Pakatari makes his broadcast. You got it? Might that be a warning to you? 
and there we go. Bowman, we've got the encryption key, but I'm not sure we're up for hacking the signal. I know you're not techies. The rebels gave us the location of one of their comms guys. Okay, so we need to let me guess. Yeah, there we go. Break him out of something. Yeah, we out of something. His expertise. We can't spare a comms guy who isn't locked up. And neither can I. Extract him to an RP, and I'll get him the gear he needs to cut into Does that. Does have guns? No. That's enough guns. Alright, well, first of all, I'm going to shoot down my helicopter and then we'll end the episode here. We'll do that next time. First, we are going to shoot down this. Right, oh, I, hit, I, hit, I think I hit someone. I hit someone in it. There we go. And it is clear. How you guys holding up? Down. Uh, see there it is over there. You know what look it's, it's quite peaceful from up here. It's quite nice actually. To see the mountains and stuff. Anyway, that's gonna be all for this episode guys. If you did enjoy, then let me know. And yeah, I'll see you all next time. Peace.